hey everyone welcome back so in this uh, weekly contest 456 this is the another question that we have and the question is saying that longest common prefix between adjacent string after removals right so let's let's read the question or you can move ahead okay so the question is saying that you are given an array of string that is called word for each index i the range is from 0 to words dot length minus 1 and we have to perform the following steps so the step is remove the element at index i from the word array and compute the length of the longest common prefix among all the adjacent pair in the modified array then you have to return the array answer where answer at i is the length of the longest common prefix between the adjacent pair after removing the element at index i if no adjacent pair remains or if none share a common prefix answer is answer at i should be zero so a prefix of a string is a substring that start from the beginning of the string and extend to any point of it right so let's suppose we have given in this example these words we have given jump run run jump right it means for each index right because we have given this we have we have given this array right of the strings right so for each index that is called 0 1 2 3 and 4 these are the indices right and we call this let's suppose i right so for each index i remove remove what we have to do remove we have to remove what words at i so i is start from 0 right 1 2 3 4 so words at i we have to remove right means or each element let's suppose jump we will remove sometimes run will be room sometimes this will remove the possibilities are that this will we can remove this correct so why we will remove this means we have to find the longest prefix length right between the any adjacent pair of the remaining string let's take this example okay so let's go index by index and remove one element at a time right let's suppose at index at i when i index it i at zero so we will remove what jump we will remove so the remaining element is what three uh, run run jump run this one is there right now check all the adjacent pair right what are the adjacent pair run run jump jump right so let's suppose for the first time the pair is what these two run and run so these two are these two are the one pair another is what next take run and jump this is the another pair then third take jump and run this this could be third pair but but when we remove uh words at i that is jump we have removed that right so the remaining pair is run run so the common prefix between these is what run itself right so we'll get this is the common prefix run its length is what three we can say that in this run and jump what is the common prefix no common prefix is there right so its length is zero now you check the jump and run which is the common prefix no nothing just put zero so the maximum that we have got till now the max common prefix is what this three correct and that is why for the first time when i is 0 we are getting 3 right similarly if you remove the next next one i equal to 1 what's at i equal to 1 let's suppose this time right this time i equal to 1 so in this if you check that right there is no common uh, adjacent pairs are there right the adjacent pair will become what jump and run then next will become what uh, run and jump then we have what jump and run here is zero here is zero here is zero and that is why the second was coming zero correct similarly you will go for the next you will get so if you observe that the max uh, common prefix will come like this at it each index that we will remove right so this is the thing that we have to do right we have to repeat for uh, like we have done for 0 and 1 we'll do repeat for what 2 3 uh, and 4 right till, till 4 we have index right so we have to repeat for that you will observe that we have re received what here we will receive 3 we have received 0 
common prefix length then we have written what we will get uh, similarly three and you can say three we can get right like that let's suppose for the means you can see here like that we will get so what is our intuition here just think what is intuition how to think about solving it efficiently just think that if this is the problem statement is there and we have to implement it how we are going to do that right so you or we want to find what the longest common prefix that is called longest common prefix right lcp understand the longest common prefix that is called lcp right so we want to find the longest common prefix between what adjacent pair adjacent pair right these are the adjacent pair after removing each word one by one so if we will remove one by one then we'll find the adjacent pair right and then we have to find what we have to uh, we have to what after removing each pair uh, each uh, word we have to go by one by one pairs right then we will optimize using uh, three ideas there let's suppose the very first idea is let's suppose we have the prefix at i right what we will do we'll take a we'll create a function lcp and we'll take what words at i will pass and other we will pass what words at i plus one we can do that right and this will give you the result zero three zero zero like that let's suppose just an example so for example we'll get like this right the lc will get now you know that when we jump uh, when we have jump and run we got zero when we have run and run we have got three when we have what uh, let's suppose run and so that we'll get zero like that so when run and run was there we got three right it means we will use a max from left to right left and right to avoid the recomposition right let's suppose we'll take left max at i and we'll say max of zero to one what is the zero to one or zero to i what is the max so you will have each value you have you will have right and then what we will do we'll only compute the lcp of the pair that gets a newly form after removal right if you remove a uh, words at i in the middle the two words around it becomes neighbors right and so we compute their lcp and we'll check its bigger one understand that we will do one by one means the very first step what we will do we'll pre-compute we will pre-compute uh, the lcp right like that we, we will compute like this right and then we'll use a prefix uh max let's suppose we'll call a uh, left max we'll call a right max like that we will take right and you will have the max prefix uh max max of prefix zero to you can say zero to i what is the prefix of this one so prefix from i to z will get the what is the left left one we'll get here then from the right side we'll get what max of prefix i to zero right we'll get we'll add here right so the left max and right max will have right similarly we'll keep continuing that and we can quickly find the max lcp in remaining array without scanning all the pairs so let's understand how i'm i'm doing here okay so what we have given we have given the words we have given right so very first step we will find the words dot length and you will get the n right then we'll create an answer right so this answer will create an array so that we'll keep adding the max values or after each removal right you will get it right then we'll check the condition if n equal to only one element in the in only one words is there right so we'll just update this value and we'll return it okay then in the next step what we should do we should ca calculate the prefix right how as i told you lcp of the words and words i will find and we'll calculate through this method we'll talk about this method later and we'll pre-compute all the values right then we'll find the left max and the right max okay we'll have the left max max and right max right and now the we'll initialize the left max from zero prefix at zero pre-computed value from zero right and then for one two we'll go to the last uh, index right and we'll update our what is the max value for the left max right so you will get the left max like this right we'll keep compute keep computing from the previous and the current one and you will have the left max similarly from the 
uh, from the uh, second last right you will get the second last value and you will go for all the values right like the i plus one and i right right at right uh, right max at i plus one until the max this one right and you will update your right max means you will find the right max and left max you will find okay then uh, we have to calculate the answer for each removal let's suppose we'll go for each words right so how we do find the max lcp so we'll take one variable we'll check if i is greater than one right just check max lp from left max right i minus two and to to this value and you will find the max lcp right and then you will update what this value uh, max lp uh, uh, max lcp similarly you will try if i plus one is less than n minus one you will calculate it and you will update the max lp then we'll check if uh, the other condition matching like i let's say i is less than equal to n less than n minus one then we'll merge the prefix if the middle element is removed then you will find like you will cal calculate the merge one right similarly that we have done previously the get common prefix length right we'll get it and you will merge it how will merge it so you will find the max one which is max you will update on the max lcp and the answer at i is max lcp and you will return the answer okay let's write on this code so you will understand clearly okay so and there is another method is that that we can find uh, uh which one is the max prefix right so you how you are going to find you just check the length which is the length right and you will up you will return the uh, length of its value right you just need to find the length of the prefix which, which is max correct so now understand how to how we have implemented it right? okay so let's suppose we have given this word right so let's suppose the words will take like what words at i okay then we'll take a consecutive value we have to take means the next value we have to take right from the so words at i will take right plus one okay this is plus one then we'll take lcp and then other will take the length just think very simply okay so for the first time when i is zero right when i is zero then how we are going to find the how we are going to pre-compute this value right we are talking about this one okay so when i is zero what is what it was jump correct jump run run was there right so let's suppose the word was uh, was uh, jump was there then we have run was there then we have run was there then we have what uh, jump again was there so these four are there let's suppose so at zero we have what jump then we have run then we have run and then we have jump correct so for the first time in zero we have we have a jump means the words next length is we have run what is the lcp there is no lcp blank length is zero next take when it is one so the next is what this is run this is run means the lcp is what r u n right the length is what three now similarly we'll calculate for all others two this 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 it will come zero right for, for three we'll see like this right we'll get zero because here is run here is jump here is run here is jump here is uh, jump and here is run right remember so like that we will get the lcp so our purpose is to get this LC, uh, this value right so you will calculate you will pass to this two length uh, words we will pass and words this will pass and you will get the word you have you will get the lcp once you have the lcp you will get its length right you will get the length so you your length will get updated here correct means if you talk about the prefix let me clean it now so if you'll talk about the prefix prefix will look like how let's suppose prefix is what zero three zero and zero we can say that this is our prefix now we are going to building the left max and right max right so we why we are going to use so we want to use it so that we can quickly get you can get the max prefix before or after the given index correct and for that left max will start from where at here right so left max actually is what uh, let's suppose the left max at i is nothing but the max of what prefix from 0 to i 0 to i we can say that right 
from 0 to i not comma this is 0 to i okay so the left max we want the max from this to this and so how we are going to find the previous and the current which one is the max you will update it you will up, you can update it right so the left max at certain value at i you will have the value right similarly if you calculate for the right max right we can say right max at i is nothing but what 3 uh, 3 0 0 we can say because when we are going to find the left max we are going to find the max of the prefix so this time it was initially it was 0 when it was 3 3 3 because this is 0 this is this is we 3 3 right when we are going for the right max the right max will starting will will, will have what 3 because the previous one was 3 3 so we'll get 3 3 0 0 correct so you if you observe that you will find it right you can see that so right max n minus 2 you will get from what prefix n minus 2 right and we have seen that prefix is already 3 3 so you will have the 3 3 here okay now uh, now just process that process uh, the calculation right so each time what you want to do you want to remove it you know the how to remove it right so the the array became when i equal to 0 right so we have removed the uh, jump now remaining is run or run uh, jump and run let's suppose run run jump run will will take like this right so array become when index at i we will remove the first element right first word so all the original adjacent pair except prefix at 0 is valid right so what we will do this pair when i is 0 is valid and here we was getting what run common and we are getting what the right max is 3 means if we talk about the right max what is the right max right max at 1 is nothing but 3 we can say that and that is why answer we will update what at 3 so if you if you observe that give me one second if you observe that we are getting what here we are getting a, a max a, a max lcp and the left max a left max i minus 2 you know what is the i minus 2 we have that that you will go you will get you have the right max i plus 1 but and the max lcp which one is the max you will get updated right like that you will get updated each time understand and once everything is done we will update our answer right understood so if you have any doubt in this video please let me know so the very first what we have done we have pre-compute the adjacent uh, you can say adjacent lcp right and and then we have taken what pre computer the max lp max uh, left left max and right max and for each index we have calculated right only uh, when we recompute the most one right we can say that and we will take if, if we will understand the optimization right we can do what instead of scanning the full array right we pre computed these things right you, you can try by the recomputing but it will give you the time complexity error okay i hope you understand right and let me know if you have any doubt in this video guys okay thank you thank you for watching this video and please ping me in the comment box i will put the dry run so you will understand here so please go through the uh, comment i will summarize the dry run i'll take some time okay and then i'll put the uh, dry run okay Thank you guys, thank you for watching this video, please let me know if you have any doubt.